Hey all, thanks for joining me today. I'm Richard Chapo. I'm an uh, attorney in San Diego, California. I've been advising online businesses for about the past 20 years. And uh, today I wanted to take a look at an interesting development regarding the California Consumer Privacy Act. Um, there's an old adage in uh, the legal community that if California passes a law on a significant uh, legal topic, uh, that it will uh, start a cascade of other laws in other states across the, uh, the U.S. And uh, that's what we're seeing here. So, um, although California has already enacted its privacy law, now many other states are in the process of doing the same thing. And you can see a list here that's accurate as of February 10th, 2019. Uh, we have Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mississippi, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, Rhode Island. Um, now with all the political divide in our, in our country, I think it's interesting to just take a look at that list because we have both liberal and conservative states uh, that are taking this action. Now, you might be thinking, uh, if you're running an online business, uh, how are you possibly going to deal with all these different laws? You know, are they all going to say the same thing? And the answer is, no, they're not. Um, now they're generally going to cover you know very similar topics, um, but each state will have its own little quirks and, and strange requirements uh, that you would have to deal with. And this kind of points out a second uh, a lesson, if you will, from the situation that we have now in Washington, D.C., which we've had for years, uh, and that is we have a federal government that's somewhat dysfunctional and is not passing legislation on key topics. Uh, and so, for instance, we do not have a national privacy law. And so technically, each of these states, and in fact, all the states could go ahead and pass uh, their own individual privacy law with their own individual requirements. And if you uh, have a nexus with those states, which in the online community, you often do, um, you know, you're going to face a situation where you need to comply with multiple different privacy laws. And if you're thinking that sounds insane, you are right. It is. It's absolute madness. So what should happen? Well, the federal government should pass a national privacy law. Even if it was a negative privacy law, something that business viewed as being a bad thing, it would still be better than what we're looking at because at least you would have one law to focus on. And whatever those requirements were, no matter how painful, you know, you could go ahead and comply with them. Uh, and, uh, you know, once the federal government takes that step, then any state laws that are uh, covering the same topic uh, generally are going to be invalid. And the reason for that is federal law trumps state law. Uh, and so that's you know kind of ideally what we're hoping for in this situation. Uh, so the practical result is uh, we really need to see Congress get off of its stuff and uh, pass a national privacy law. Now, can we do that given the current political climate? Uh, I tend to think yes, and the reason being that everybody agrees we need a national privacy law. There's really nobody opposed to it. The only question at this point is, is what is going to be the law? You know, what are the specific requirements and rights going to be associated with it? Now you might be thinking, well, what about Facebook and Google? They don't want to, you know, national privacy law, why would they want one? Well, they want one for the same reason that you do. They don't want to have 50 different standards out there that they have to deal with in the U.S., plus the GDPR. You know, they're already dealing with the problem in Europe where you have the GDPR and 28 member uh, countries of the EU have all passed separate supporting um, legislation for the GDPR. So you have 28 different set of rules and regulations in each of those countries. And you'll no doubt be shocked to learn uh, many of those rules and regulations conflict. Uh, and so uh, the idea of having a national privacy law in the U.S. is something that is acceptable not only to consumers, privacy right advocates, um, tech companies, just anybody. I can't think of anybody who would oppose this. Uh, it's something that we really need. So I think the practical result is that in 2019, believe it or not, uh, the uh, dysfunctional Washington government will get its act together and we will get a national privacy law. There's really just no other choice at this point. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but until then, you know, unfortunately, you're going to need to comply uh, with the California uh, Consumer Privacy Act um, because if that national privacy law doesn't kick in before January 1st, 2020, or uh, it just doesn't happen because of all the political nastiness, well, <laughs> we're going to be looking at all these states and, and trying to comply with this. And unfortunately, this does happen. You just have to look at the Internet sales tax. We really should have a national standard for that. Um, but we don't. Uh, the federal government is just incapable of, of getting its act together and, and uh, passing a law in that area. So 
So states are following California's lead on privacy, uh, and hopefully we'll see a national uh, privacy law here pretty soon, so keep your eye out on that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving us a thumbs up below. If you didn't, I feel shame. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post those below as well. And feel free to subscribe to our channel. It's easy for me to say. Feel free to subscribe to our channel uh, as we'll be posting more videos on uh, the California Consumer Privacy Act and privacy law in general. Thanks for watching. and Have a good one.